zig fishing. It's a method that some people absolutely swear by and other people don't tend to get on with it too well. And I'm in the latter camp. If I was to show a visual representation of people that love zig fishing and people that hate zig fishing, I probably end up right about here. I have had the odd fish. I'll probably count on one hand how many fish I've had on zigs over my 15 plus years of angling. So it's really not a method I'm confident in, but pole position sent out their screw on zig aligners. So instead of just going through exactly what they are and how they work, I thought, you know what? I'll bite the bullet, I'll come out with them, actually use them and try and get my confidence up in zigs. So I've come to a venue which I know is renowned for being really good on zigs and I've got three rods ready to go up on adjustables. I'm fishing in about 12 to 15 foot of water in front of me, it's quite deep. I've got them all wrapped out, I've got the spod rod ready, I've got a load of sloppy spod mix to go over the top of them. So today, if I don't catch many on zigs today, it may be a method that, again, is going to gather dust in my tackle box for another few years, but hopefully I'll get a few fish and we'll run through exactly what these zig liners are all about. Before we carry on with the video, please do just take a few seconds out of your time to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads when they come out. And also follow us on all the different social media platforms coming up on the bottom of the screen right now for regular updates. Let's get back to it. After that first comment, I was hopeful that things were going to start to pick up. And I did actually have another bite probably half an hour or so after that one. I thought, here we go, a bream. I had a bream on a 12 foot zig of all things. So not the best session to get my confidence up in zigs. Once again, I seem to have been a recurring theme when I try and do zig fishing, but I didn't want to just talk to you about this and not actually use them myself. I thought I will use them and let you know how I got on. Now I've used these on a few sessions and they are very, very simple to use. Because zigs are exactly my strong point, I don't want anything that's going to be too difficult to use. So I've got three foot hook links on adjustable zigs and this is the business end of what should hook the fish if they're going to be in your swim and they're very very simple to use now these are screw on zig aligners so as the name suggests they've got screw on there and then the aligners will give you that perfect exit from your hook to give it the nice ability to turn in the mouth be nice and aggressive and hook the fish as uh, well as best you can so the screw part of it is really really easy to use it's actually a little sort of grip on the bottom end of it and it, it goes into the housing of the aligner so the aligner is one part of this and then the screw is also is separate they do work together the screw goes into the aligner but they are separate when they come in the pack so you put the screw into like a little rubber cup is what it looks like and then once that's in there you can screw on your hook bait so last week or the other week when i was down here i was just using standard foam topped with a few little fake maggots and screwed on nice and easily and all i had to do was just get my chosen hook link which was a nine pound zig material zig line material and then i tied on my hook how i wanted so i could use a knotless knot and then trim the hair which would be a tag end uh, a hair on the on normal rigs but just trim off the tag end or use a, a blood knot i've used that as well the only thing with a blood knot is sometimes you get a kinky line so I've tried tying on the hooks in various different ways. It's completely up to you, personal preference really, but then that aligner slides down and fits over the hook perfectly. Now I've been using actually a size six. So a lot of you are probably thinking, well, there's your issue, you're using big hooks, but I don't like scaling down too much. So I've stuck with size six and these have slid over the eyes of those absolutely no problem whatsoever. The hooks I'm using are actually in here and it's hooks that I've done a video on before because they're also from pole position and they are stuff that I use in my personal fishing. I've gone for a Snagster size six. It's a lovely pattern of hook, nice and strong, super sharp these hooks. If you've never used them before, I do recommend you give them a try because they are something special. So I've been using size six with these aligners and there's no issue putting these aligners over the eyes of these hooks and they're quite big. So just pop that back down in there. And using them with the, the little cup, it means that everything's really nice and neat. So although last week or the other week I was using just tubes of foam that's trimming down to size. This trip, I've actually brought along some dedicated little zig foams, which are made in a barrel type shape, and they sit so nice and snug in that aligner that it just really looks neat. And if something looks neat, I, I like to keep all my other rigs 
nice and neat. So if I can keep a zig ring looking nice and neat, then it just gives me more confidence, less to go wrong. And that's the main thing about them. They are foolproof. So as you can see, they come in a black finish, really hard wearing material, nice and firm in that they give the angle, but they're still a bit of given that they're not really brittle. It's got to break down over time. They're really robust material. And the first set of these I actually got last year when I was showing these by pole position, and I still got some of those in my bag, not degraded and still perfectly easy to use. So there you are, the screw on zig aligners from pole position. Simple to use. So if like me, Zig fishing isn't really your forte, isn't really your cup of tea, but you want to give it a go. You can't get much more simple than this, and they're really, really good as well. So do have a look on the Pole Position website. Uh, these and all the other things I use, those hooks in particular, I've mentioned before, because they're really good items, and I've done several videos on the Pole Position items before. So if you haven't seen them, do go back and watch them, and there's going to be more in the future. So remember to subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and also follow us on all the different social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. I've got about half an hour left of this session. The rods are still out. So if you see a fish at the end, it means I succeeded in having another one. If this is the end screen, then you know I didn't.